Hello, Winter Flame here with another chess tactics video. Today, we'll be doing five more tactics puzzles. As you remember, we left off at 1709 after getting three right and missing two. We didn't lose any points, but only gained around four points. So I'm hoping to improve on that today by getting all five right. So let's begin. All right. In this position, um, it appears his rook protect, um, blocking against his king. Pretty sure if I take this rook, I can win some material, including this knight. But that's probably not enough compensation for the position we are in right now. In fact, we're up, like in terms of position, we're up quite a bit. If I take his rook, he could take back with his king, go around for the check. Where would he go? He'd have to flee up or up. And then after his flight, I can take his take his queen. If he takes back with his queen, I can go straight for the king check. He'll be forced to move his king up. Go for a second check? If he blocks. Um, if I take his rook, he'll have to take back with a queen. I could take this knight, of course, but... It's not as advantageous. So if I took this check, then you'll have to flee up there. And then check him again, he'll block. Interposing the queen on f1. I mean, he definitely doesn't want to take with the king. That'd be suicide. Takes with the queen. I'm not sure what I'd do to him. It looks threatening. Oh, I can take the rook. I think it is winning for, for us. If he does that, I could go for the um, long distance check. Go for the queen. Yep, solved. All right. We'll move on to the next puzzle. I think if we want to gain more points, we have to do these slightly faster. I mean, I don't like haste, but I guess haste doesn't hurt sometimes. Bishop is threatening his rook. If I could just get this rook out of the way. So, pretty sure if I take his knight and he takes back with either the queen or the pawn, I can take this bishop and then take his rook. Let's go for it. And that is correct. And we gain more points because we did it relatively quickly. Alright, he moves his queen back. Preparing for a check of some sort, and also guarding the square. I is black. I'll have to be careful what I do in this position. I can win a queen via fork. I take his pawn. If he moves over, if I can't fork him, but then I can checkmate him. So that's preferable too. So let's go for it. And that is correct. And once again, we're zipping through these puzzles just so we can get the points. So 1724, let's keep climbing. Um, he takes the pawn. So, in terms of major threats in this position, I myself don't have, I don't see many uh, good attacks against him. He does seem to be double threatening my knight. But, of course, there's got to be a way to get out of this position. Probably by doing the unexpected move, queen a4, checking him, forcing him to probably block with this knight, but then losing this knight in the process, because it unpins my knight, so I can take his knight if I move my queen here, because his bishop no longer kills my queen if I move this knight. So let's try it. That is not correct, unfortunately. It looked very right, but I guess it was wrong. Uh, let's try that again. This time, since we got it wrong, we can do it more slowly. I'd really want to get this queen out, ultimately. But this check apparently doesn't win anything. I mean, to me, it feels like it wins stuff, but I guess I was wrong. But I guess that's just my feeling was wrong. But we all miss some sometimes. In any event... Um, I mean, I'm fixated on it. That's the problem with chess. You don't want to get fixated on a move. 
Now I'm fixated with moving my queen there, even though I know now that that apparently is not the right move. Fixation could lead to your downfall sometimes. Well, the reason that doesn't work, by the way, is because he can move his knight back to where he started from. Otherwise, that'd be a really good move. If I move this bishop somewhere, we'll open up the file for attack on this knight. Which is, of course, preferable. But I don't see a clear way to do it. Like, for example, this definitely won't work. The tax is queen's sacrifice. I see. That is preferable over my solution. Alright, moving on. So, he threatens me with his rook. It looks like he's in a pretty bad position here. That is, I'm really close to checkmating him. However, we're not quite there yet. We still need a couple extra moves to get to that position. Checkmate. If I move my queen here, he'll probably check me all the way down there. But then he has nothing on me if I move my king to this square. Because if I move here, I'll threaten mate in one. And he can't block that mate. For example, this does not work. Like this block, I just take his rook. So I believe that's the right move. And if I do this, he can't check me the next turn. What? But he can't check me the next turn. Why? Um, so, if I do that though, oh, he can't check me there either. Shoot, he could check me there and that. Yeah, that's right. Whoops, he couldn't actually check me on that square because my pawn's guarding it. How idiotic of me. How idiotic. Alright, so I shouldn't rush so quickly. That's one thing, I guess. When you're under time pressure, like, I learned that you get more points if you do it faster. So I started rushing through it. But rushing through the puzzles don't make you more right. In fact, you mess up more often. So, if you have time and you're in a key tactical position, think through your position. You're in no big hurry, so there's no reason for you to go all out and try to calculate 20 moves in advance in 30 seconds. It's not going to work very well. So that's an important lesson I learned today. And that's an important lesson you should take as well. You have to think fast, but not so fast to make careless mistakes like this. Anyway, we did gain points, so still good gains. Around 5 points today. And that's okay. But anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.